Hello class, this is Dr. Scott with your finance course. Um, I've had some requests for some additional examples of the Chapter 6 concepts in Excel, so that is what we're going to do today. I'm just going to do a few questions um, because they're all pretty much done the same way. So the first one I'm looking at says, suppose that the current one-year rate or one-year spot rate and expected one-year T-bill rates over the following three years are 1% for year one, 4.25% for year two, 4.75% for year three, and 6.25% for year four. Now it goes on to say, using the unbiased expectations theory, calculate the current long-term rates for one, two, three, and four-year maturity treasury securities. Plot the resulting yield curve. So first, let's start with what we know. 1R1 is 1%. 1, oops, sorry, 2, R, 2, R, 1 is 4.25 percent, 3, R, R, 1 is 4.75 percent, and 4R1 is 6.25%. So notice where these cells are, where I've typed this information. Column B, rows 3, 4, 5, and 6. Now on your Excel simulation problems, they're going to be in different places. So make sure that if you use um, the cell number, which is what the simulation wants you to do, that you are using where it is on that actual sheet. So first we need to figure out, because we know what year one is, it's 1%. Uh, now we need to know what it is first at the end of year two. So 1R2. Now we're going to have Excel do some math for us. So we're going to say equals, because that's what tells us, tells it what to do. And we've got a double parentheses, and you'll see why, because we're going to do different calculations within this main parentheses. So we've got 1 plus R1R1, which is in cell B3. Close that parentheses, open a new parentheses, 1 plus 1R2, which is cell B4. Close that parentheses, close the main parentheses. Now, because there's two of them, we're going to calculate this to the power of 1 over 2. So again, um, to the power of is the caret sign, which is shift 6 and then parentheses, one slash two, close parentheses, and then minus one to get our formula complete. So let's hit enter. Oh, see, I made a mistake. Uh, what does it want? Yes, see, I did not tell it what to do between these two, but we're multiplying. So we want it to, we accept that correction and we come out with 2.6%. So now we need to figure out 1R3. 
And we do the same thing, only adding in 3R1. So, double parentheses, we've got 1 plus 0 0.01, and now we know it needs to say times, parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.0425, close parentheses, times, open parentheses, and actually I'm going to do I'm going to do this the way it wants you to on your simulation. So we've got cell B3 and we've got cell B4. And then we've got 1 plus cell B5. Close our parentheses, close our main parentheses to the power of parentheses 1 over 3 parentheses minus 1. Oh, what did I do wrong? 1 plus B3 1 plus B4 and 1 plus B5 and for whatever reason it's not picking it up so let's just try it again. And it's still not picking it up so let's just try a different cell. Okay. Oh, I know what I did. I didn't do the equal sign. Rookie mistake. 1 plus B3, close parentheses, times, open parentheses, 1 plus B4, close parentheses, times, open parentheses, 1 plus B5, close parentheses, close main parentheses, to the power of parentheses 1 over 3, close parentheses, minus 1. Now that worked. Okay, good. So we're looking at about 3.3%. So now we need 1R4. And we do the exact same thing. Um, the only difference is now we are taking in 4R1 into consideration and we will do it to the power of 1 over 4 um, instead of 1 over 3 or 1 over 2. So equal sign, double parentheses, 1 plus B3, close parentheses, times 1 plus B4 plus B4, close parentheses, times 1 plus B5, close parentheses, times, open parentheses, 1 plus B6, close parentheses, close main parentheses, to the power of parentheses, 1 over 4, close parentheses, minus 1. And we've got about 4% there. So what we're doing here is we are, let's get rid of this. And let's change these into percents. And we want two decimal places. So now it asks us to plot the resulting yield curve. There is no place to do this in your homework, but if you're interested in knowing how to do it, leave these highlighted, click Insert, click Scatter, 
and you can really choose any one, but this one will show it. And that's the curve. As you can see up, it, see it goes up for the three years. So for the next one, we have another example. This one uses um, the unbiased expectations theory yet again. But it asks us for, well, I'll, I'll read it to you. Um, it says, one-year treasury bills currently earn 2.45%. You can expect that one year from now, one-year treasury bill rates will increase to 2.95%, and that two years from now, one-year treasury bill rates will increase to 3.35%. If the unbiased expectations theory is correct, what should be, excuse me, what should the current rate be on three-year treasury securities? Now, I'll tell you a secret. This problem is exactly the same as the other pro problem, but it only gives you a blank for year three. So, how do we do that? Well, first, let's plot what our what our one R's are. One R1 is 2.45%. One R2, oh, I'm doing this backwards, I'm sorry. Two R1 is 2.45%. 3R1 is 3.35%. So now, instead of doing this three times, we're only going to figure 1R3. And we do that by telling Excel we're doing something with an equal sign. And then we're going to have our double parentheses, 1 plus, let's see that's, 1R1 one is B15, close parentheses times, open parentheses, 1 plus B16, close parentheses times, open parentheses, 1 plus B17, close parentheses, close main parentheses. Now we have three years, so we're going to do this to the power of 1 over 3, and we still have to subtract 1 from this answer to get the right number. And we get 2.916, and as always, it wants us to round our answer to two decimal places and a percentage. So we click percent up here under general and then we want it two decimal places so one two two point nine two is what it will be at the end of year three so next this one is a little bit different because we get into the liquidity theory but it's not that different um, and it's calculated the exact same way. So for this one, one-year treasury bills currently earn 3.75%. So 1R1 3.75%. You expect that one year from now, one-year treasury rates will increase to 3.95%. So then 2 R1, 3.95%. The liquidity premium on two-year securities is 8%. Premium, 8%. If the liquidity theory is correct, 